The Ministry of Education has the responsibility to ensure that our learners are safe, that when parents send their, their children to school, that they're coming back to them as, as they're sent. The words of Director of Education Claire Brown as he underscores the importance with which the Ministry of Education treats school security. Brown admits to the gravity of the situation as schools reopened under a veil of heightened youth violence. To this end, ministry officials entered the latest round of consultations with the nation's security forces early Friday. Right today, uh, we met in uh, the police districts with all our school principals, private, public. We met in, in four districts, uh, just going over some things, just trying to work out so that our principals are able to to meet the police officers that are in charge of the various districts, exchange with the, the officers concerns that they have. These, however, were not the first consultative meetings on the issue of security. Not last week, but the week previous, we met with the, the top brass of the, brass of the police force and we, we kind of went through some things, about a 13 or 14 point plan of action, immediate action. And Brown says for the most part, school officials have been pleased with the security forces efforts. Several of the principals commended the police so far for the work that they have, have, have done since the term started, for the police presence, because they have felt the police. Brown adds working in tandem, officials and police have identified hot spots for youth loitering and violence, co-curricular activities where police presence may be necessary and opportunities for police to speak with students and their parents about security issues. The Director of Education is also pledging to ensure 24-hour security at some school plants. We're working with Public Works to get to the place where every school has the requisite number of security officers that they should have during the daytime. The Ministry has also identified several schools at which perimeter fences need immediate attention. These include the Pierce Secondary School and the Sinovel Richards Academy. For ABS News, I am Ursil Charles Jr.